Hi, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Boom by NDC. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. Also, if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. And if you want free samples and presets and masterclasses, you can join the DMB Academy free access. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Now, before jumping into Serum, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. And the first thing we're going to do is to load sine waves in all of the oscillators. Like this. Then we're going to turn on the noise oscillator and you should be getting this sound. Just simple sub with noise. Now the next thing to do is to pitch these oscillators to match key harmonics of the original bass. So oscillator A goes one octave up to have the second harmonic. Then oscillator B goes two octaves up and four semitones up to give it that cool high harmonic that then is going to blend really good with the distortion. Next, we're going to use LFO number one to modulate the level of oscillator A and the sub. We're going to set this on envelope and make it half a bar and make a shape like this. If we turn off the noise and oscillator B, we should get kind of an 808 effect. Cool. Now let's turn on oscillator B and the noise because we're going to modulate them with LFO number two. We're going to map this into a level of B and the noise like this. Then we're going to make a rising shape because the sound has that envelope. So on the first half of the LFO, it's going to be low and then it's going to rise into a higher amplitude of the harmonics like this. Let's set this on half a bar. Just like that. Of course, you can always experiment with this. But we'll get into that once we apply the distortion. And speaking of distortion, let's go into the effects tab. But actually, before we do that, let's just add some release and a bit of attack so we avoid clicks. Okay, cool. Let's go into the effects tab now and let's turn on the distortion. Let's put it first in the list of effects and then let's boost the drive. And let's map elephone number two to boost the drive like this. There you go. You can always fine tune this modulation. In this case, I'm going to leave it like that. You can do this by ear. Don't worry about the values. Then we're going to turn on the hyper. We're going to bring the mix down. Then we're going to turn on the chorus, boost the mix and boost the filter. We're going to turn on the compressor, set it on multiband and boost the gain a lot. There you go. And that is essentially it for how to make this sound. Now, let me show you a couple cool things that you can do to this sound to make it your own. So for example, you can change the harmonic. Like that. You can change the waveform with a warping mode. Like that. Or you can change the envelope of this harmonic. Like this. Or you can, instead of introducing it via an LFO with the level, you can use frequency modulation and then map this LFO into the frequency modulation knob, like this. And 
and you can always change the harmonics here. There's a lot of possibilities with this bass, but the main principle is to start with the main two harmonics, which will be the sub and oscillator A, and then introduce noise and extra harmonics via oscillator B or FM, then putting everything together via distortion, and then using effects like hyper and dimension to add some cool textures in the stereo space. Now, remember that this chorus is using a low pass filter, so probably the sub is being affected, so you should have a separate sub with this sound. But that is gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.